And hey, welcome back to the show now. Man, they have some good master swimmers up in Northern California. And last weekend's Master Short Course Nationals, Walnut Creek's uh, swim club easily swam away with the team title. The meet was only a couple hours away from their home, but no matter where the meet is, Walnut Creek always a staple on the national scene. Thanks in no small part to head coach Kerry O'Brien, who joins us right now on the phone from Fresno. Coach, how you doing? Good morning. I'm doing fine. Thank you. What was your take on the Nationals this year? A lot of records. A lot of records, a lot of fast swimming, great facility, um, great organization as far as the way that we ran the meet and everything, and weather held out for us. It was, it was a great experience. All right. Now, probably the swim of the meet was um, your 200 fly. Would you agree? <laughs> well, it's been talked about. <laughs> well, we have some video. It was an experience for me, that's for sure. We have a little video here, so I get to do some play-by-play. -play. Here's Kerry O'Brien coming to the 100 and whoa, he stops at the 100. I th did you forget that it was a 200, Coach? No, no, no. It was very, very ripe in my mind. Okay, then you proceed to stop at the wall of every 25 afterwards. Explain what in the heck was going on. Well, it gave me a chance to talk to some of my friends that so were at the other end of the pool. <laughs> um, my, my, my plan was I knew I wasn't going to get a chance to swim the 100, and I shaved and rested for a 200 earlier in the season because I just knew how busy I was going to be this weekend. So it, it kind of let me off the hook to just kind of train for the 100. And, uh, but I knew if I, if I wanted the time to count for rankings, I was going to have to complete the 200 legally, and that was the best way I was going to find to do it after going out so hard. So you go out hard in the 100, you catch your breath, and then uh, how do you keep that stroke together for that second hundred? It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, you know, just sitting on the wall there letting that lactic acid sit in the muscles didn't help very much. But uh, I had good encouragement from both ends of the pool, so that helped too. Okay, so you learn the hard way. It's best not to go out all out in the first hundred of a 200 fly. No, no, I, I don't think we'll be doing that again anytime soon. All right, speaking of your busy weekend, I, I understand you had some interesting commuting back and forth from the meet in Fresno to Walnut Creek. What was going on? Well, I have a, a small uh, high school team. I coach at Contra Costa Christian High School, and as it happens, it was our league championships were the same weekend, and it is my last year of coaching there for five years, so I wanted to make sure that I was available to be there for their last meet. So it just required some back and forth driving to get up there, to get down here to set up the meet, to swim the thousand, bolt out of there, get up there, do some practices, swim their meet on Saturday, bolt back down here to try to get some swims in on Sunday. So, uh, but both both teams did excellent. So, as as, as the coaching goes, it's, I've never had a weekend, you know, better than this one. <laughs> Put some more miles on the car this weekend, huh? Yeah, I did. I mean, uh, oil changed once again. <laughs> so the kids did well. They did very well, very well. What's uh, you, this is your last season? You said coaching the kids, but. I mean, that, that's got to be quite a stark contrast between coaching high schoolers and coaching master swimmers. In, in, in some respects it is, but uh, in some respects it's very much the same in that you have some, in both, in both sides, you have some very, very capable and experienced swimmers, and you have some very, very new, raw people, too, that, that take a little bit more time. But, you know, the, uh, the, the, the learning curve is so steep for some of them on both masters and, and kids because there are some similarities. And, and I like them both. I enjoy them both. Uh, a little piece of me is going to be sad to see the kids go, but, uh, you know, it gets me back to what I'm supposed to be doing, which is taking care of my team. Well, and you've been doing that since 1980, if, uh, if my information here is correct. What is it about that team that, uh, that just keeps it fresh after all these years? Um, you know, we are, we are very fortunate as an organization just to have a lot of the pieces in place, and we've had them there for a long time going through... Um, my, myself and all the, you know, the assistant coaches I've had through the years, we get long stays at them, and they're all very confident. They all click very well with the membership. We get great support from the city of Walnut Creek as far as providing us with a facility and, and allowing us to grow our team and add workouts as we go. Um, city of Walnut, uh, the, the city council of Walnut Creek is very familiar with who we are, and, uh, you know, we're just in a great place, and we've been very fortunate for a very long time. And you've got uh, Olympian Rock Santos up there. Mm -hmm. Helps out the team dynamic, maybe? Yeah, it, he, he's great, and, and we get his wife as a coach, too. So yeah, it, it's, it's a home run on both sides. That's nice. Well, congratulations well, on a busy you. weekend. Great swims for both your high school kids and your master swimmers. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Coach. Talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye then. And our May issue has a week's worth of workouts from Coach Kerry O'Brien, so be sure to take a look at those. And thank you to Flow Swimming for some of that footage that you saw during that interview. And that is our show for today.